So these tenons fit in here just perfect. There's no slop in the joint, and there's just enough room in here for the glue to fit in. And I positioned the mortise in this first style right flush here at the very end of the style. And that's something I wish I hadn't done. You know, that's like the first kind of mistake I made. I really should have positioned this first mortise inside of the style, just a little bit, left a little bit of wood off the end here and then trimmed that back later. And then it'd get perfectly flush and I wouldn't have to hassle with having to worry about maybe the style being short of the rail because then you can't fix it. I wanted nine inches between the rails so I burned an inch here and you can see I'm at 10 inches. So I'll just take those lines and transfer them all the way across, just like framing a wall. And then, down here, I'll put a line flush with the bottom of where that rail is going to go, flush with that style. And up here, I can draw a line across the other side of this rail. And now to find the center of these, I wanted to find the center of each mortise they're just about three quarters of an inch, just a hair off, three quarters of an inch. I'd say about 11 sixteenths from the layout line to that mortise. So I can pencil a line right here at 11 sixteenths and lay out each one of those. That should come out, yeah, that's just fine. So there I'm just going to draw a short line and that'll identify where the mortise is as opposed to the end of the of the rail. And the same on this one. Now I'll just lay out the other two. And I'll just draw those in short. And this will all help me check to make sure that when I cut these mortises, they're in the right place because there won't be any fixing them after I've cut them. The mortiser I'm going to use has clamps on both ends, nothing in the middle. So I had to make this tag end with these two sleeves to capture the style that I want to cut in order to cut a mortise right near the end of it. Now I've also got a little layout device here. I just made a little layout um, kind of jig. And I can set this right on the edge of where I want to cut the mortise and draw a line right up the side of it. And that'll position the lock mortiser for me so it'll cut right, on my, right exactly on the mortise line. The mortiser has a tendency to slip down, right down the sides like this. So I'm using my left hand just to hold it up and slide it across the style here. And then I want to align this edge right here, the clamp, edge of the clamp, with that alignment line, the pencil line that I drew, using that jig, and, that's right, and then tighten this up. And the cutter now, if you rotate the cutter, the cutter should be right on that line, right on that edge, the very shoulder of the mortise I want to cut.
just take this style around and then do the other two more. So every time I move the mortiser, I line the same clamp up with that pencil line and just barely cover it. And I can check that by looking inside here and making sure that cutter is right on the line on my mortise. This is a depth stop collar. All you have to do is lower this collar anywhere on this rod and tighten it up. And that stops the cutter at whatever depth you want to stop the cut. Once you reach the bottom, the depth of stop collar meets up with this bushing and it pushes the bushing down, which disengages the drive mechanism. To engage the drive mechanism when you start, want to start cutting, you just push this button here down and then you're ready to start pulling the cutter on down into the wood.